It was a picture-perfect morning in Vail, Colorado, on Friday, March 26th, 1976. The sky was a magical deep blue, with four to eight inches of fresh snow waiting for the skiers up on the slopes, and temperatures climbing through the 20s. Vail was buzzing with that special energy ski resorts get when there's fresh snow on the slopes and the sun is shining, but this buzz would suddenly turn to horror when disaster would strike high above the slopes on Gondola 2. Shortly before 9.30 a.m., the track cable on Gondola 2 would almost completely sever, sending two Gondola cars plummeting hundreds of feet to the snow-covered mountain below, killing four and injuring eight more, as well as leaving 33 other Gondola cars stranded high above on the tow line, some only hanging by a mere eighth of an inch of the remaining cable. It would take ski patrol over six hours to rescue each of the 176 anxious skiers trapped in their gondola cars. As the sun drew down over the mountains that day, a lone ski patroller skied under the first hanging car and called out through a bullhorn. Anyone still up there? There was no answer. He repeated this eerie act for each gondola car down the mountain. As the ski patroller reached the base of the mountain, the sun had set. The day and the disaster of Gondola 2 were finally over.